Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to download an app on your iOS 11 device. This is an iPad, this will also work on an iPhone or an iPod. So what you want to do is find the App Store icon, which looks like this one here. Okay, and you can find that by clicking on your home button on the edge of your device and generally it'll be on that first screen, but if it's not you can swipe to check out the other screens until you find it. All right, so let's go ahead and press that icon and the App Store, <coughs> excuse me, will come up. So down at the bottom, there's various uh, cat categories you can look at. The, the one that's chosen right now is today. You can see that down here, okay, and uh, we also have games and other uh, areas that we can look at. So let's go ahead and let's click on or press on games. Okay, obviously that gives us an overview of popular games at the moment. And then next to that is apps, okay, where we have uh, a bunch of you know productivity, fun apps, whatever you want to look at. Uh, updates is where you can find updates for currently installed apps. And then search, of course, is where you want to go if you want to find something in particular, if you're not just browsing. So uh, what we're going to do now is do a search. And right up here where it says App Store and it has the little magnifying glass there, we're going to click right on that line. Okay. And um, we can start typing when the onboard keyboard pops up. All right. So let's go ahead and figure we're interested in frogs. What do they have? All right, maybe some kind of fun game. All right, and we can scroll up and see. All right, so here we go. Frogs fall. Let's check that out. So what you need to do is click on the get button. Okay. Now this one underneath it says in-app purchases. So it's going to be free to get it, but for full functionality, you're going to have to uh, make some purchases. Okay. Now if we just quickly look down here, uh, this is what I wanted to show you uh, here where we have this tap the frog game they have a price. Now, if there's a price, of course, you have to pay for it. This one still has in-app purchases, so you can you pay $2.79, and then there's, there's more bits that you can purchase, okay? But the idea there is that you will need a uh, credit card set up with your iTunes account, right? And um, that will come off your credit card. But we'll go for something free at the moment, so I'm going to press here on this get button and we'll get this now I'm not sure if how well you can see it but there's that little circular cursor that's rolling there showing you that uh, it's busy and of course this popped up so we're going to click on the it gives you a little preview of what you're getting and then press on the install button Okay, and then we see this little circle begin to build. There's a square in the middle, which if you were to press that would stop the download. But if you let it go all the way through, it'll turn into an open sign like this. So what we want to do is press on that and the app will open. Now, what we have here is a question of whether you would like Frog's Fall to push you notifications. A lot of gameplay actually uh, is enhanced by notifications, but if you don't like your devices prompting you all the time, you can go ahead and press Don't Allow. Okay. Now, this is the kind of thing that you get with free apps. There's an ad, and you want to click the little X in the top corner there and you know, right here this little black X oh it didn't 
to highlight it for me, but I'm going to go ahead and press it. That gets sort of the add, and the game begins. Okay, and if uh, you like, you can go back to your home page. Great, because we're not going to play the game for this uh, tutorial. And you have installed the app. And you will find a new icon either on your home screen or one of the other screens, right? Might be on your last screen if you have if you have a variety of them, right? So you can scroll back and forth if you don't see it right away. But somewhere on your screen you'll find an icon for the new app that you've installed. And if you ever want to play it or open it, just go ahead and click on that. Hopefully this has helped you download and install your first app from the App Store. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.